Okay, well, I guess not all the German electricity providers are becoming digitalized right this very second, but it will definitely happen soon, and I am going to show you which one just became digitalized and just how easy it is to switch providers. Hello you guys and welcome back to my channel. If you've not been here before, I'm Jenna, a Canadian who's been living in Germany since 2014 and I've been documenting my whole life, my experiences here and building up an entire platform for you guys to be able to live vicariously through to avoid making those same mistakes that I did when I first got started. So I actually have a freebie checklist that goes through the 12 steps that you need to take step by step when relocating to Germany in order to prevent making those same mistakes that I did and in order to save a ton of money when getting started. Now, one of those things is actually electricity. And this is something that even Germans battle with because they obviously wanna get the best price. They also wanna be able to make sure that they're with a good provider. Maybe they want this eco electricity. You know, there's a lot of factors that you need to look into. People sometimes don't like being locked into a really long-term contract. And unfortunately, that is often the case. And a lot of people here in Germany often feel like they're being screwed over by their electricity or their gas providers. The good thing is, is there are a ton, ton, ton of different companies that you can choose from. The bad thing is, is that it's kind of difficult to choose the right one. So that's been something that I've been studying for you guys for years and years and years. I know exactly how to compare the best prices and find the best contract. And I actually share that over in our Life in Germany welcome program on lifeingermany.com. But today I'm actually taking you guys with me to make an actual switch. And that is because it is the first one on the market that is run in English. And while yes, I do speak German, doing the paperwork in English makes things easy because paperwork in general is not an easy thing especially in Germany, and then of course, especially in the German language. So this brand new one, they have an app function, it's run in English, you can cancel on a month by month basis, so I'm really excited to make that switch. And the reason I'm doing this today, and I'm gonna mention this right now so that you guys don't make the same mistake, is because when you move somewhere new, or somebody moves out and you're moving in, you automatically get put into this Grundversorgung electricity. That is typically with your local electricity provider, so for us it's Stadtwerke Düsseldorf, we will be put on a Stadtwerke Düsseldorf tariff that is literally the most expensive tariff that you can find online. So we are about a week in, if not a little bit more, and I'm getting a little bit nervous, which means I need to desperately switch my provider over right now so that I don't actually get locked into a contract where I'm paying an arm and a leg for electricity. So I'm just gonna take you through right now. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to record my screen. I'm actually doing this on my app so that I can show you guys. However, you can also, of course, just go on to ostrom.de and make the switch there. So this is not necessarily saying that you guys need to switch to Ostrom, I'm just showing you how it's done. It's very similar with other providers. Of course, they're going to be in, in the German language. This one's just conveniently in English. But for those of you who speak English, I think that this is a really, really good option, especially when you first move here. I've been here for eight years and I'm still really excited to switch to them. Okay, so you get redirected from the app in order to register. And then you can actually just put in a, an address here, my old address, <laughs> so. Don't worry. Um, and then I'll have three people in my household, so about 3,500 kilowatts per hour. Then you can go ahead and calculate the tariff. Don't be alarmed, I know the price looks high. <laughs> it depends on your state, unfortunately. It depends on your city. 118 euros a month is actually quite good. It's quite a competitive rate at the moment, and I will go into a bit more detail as to why you might want to be careful with the cheapest rate sometimes, because it can get a little bit tricky, and you might actually be locked in for a lot longer than you had anticipated. So there is a referral code. I asked someone in one of my Facebook groups if they had a referral code for me, which was really nice, and I believe you get 35 euros. For that so I'm just gonna punch her referral code in hit join Ostrom and then I will go ahead and I will fill in 
all of my details. Here's the details that you're gonna have to fill in. I'm gonna do that right now. I'm gonna hit next and then I'm gonna show you guys just how easy it is to switch electricity providers. All right, so we're on the next step. They have a couple more questions for you. Either you can change your supplier or you can move to a new address. Obviously, this is going to depend on you guys. In my case, I'm actually moving to a new address. So I am currently living in our home that we purchased and we are now moving from the second floor also and extending onto the first floor. So our tenants just moved out of the first floor. So for us, this is going to be an entirely new address. Now the next step is the meter ID or the Tsela Numa. You can actually get this off of your electricity box in the residence itself. Sometimes it will be in the entrance of the hallway in a little cupboard, otherwise it could be in the basement. Check with your landlord and make, make sure, please guys, when you first get in, take a picture of that meter when you move in and the moment you move out because that's gonna be the number that it starts counting that again for the next resident and then from that moment on that's what you're going to be paying i'm blocking out some of the information just for privacy reasons but you can see the actual bottom number there is the counter so that's how much electricity you are using and then the number right above that is actually the number of the box itself so you're going to need those numbers in order to switch it over. Next step is putting in your payment information. So I will go ahead and punch that in now. And then the next page is actually just confirming all of your information. I've just scrolled through that quickly so that we didn't show all of that on the screen. You just have to agree to the terms and conditions. And then if you want, you can also just sign up for their newsletter as well and finish. And there's my referral code. That's pretty cool. So that was it guys. That was really it. Like I actually did that in a matter of minutes. It really is super, super simple to do. They actually deal with the whole process of switching it over so if you have an old provider they will go ahead and switch it over if you've been locked in with your old provider and you don't know when you can switch they can also find that out for you they can do all of the dirty work they can get all the paperwork from your old provider and make sure that you really don't even have to lift a finger electricity is super easy as is opening a bank account nowadays like i've mentioned in a previous video you can do that within five to 10 minutes and you're good to go. Connecting to the electricity is super, super simple. And now that you can do it in English, it makes it even better. So everything for Ostrom at least is run all via their app. If you have questions about why I chose them, I do really, really in-depth research as to who I want to go with. I use a bunch of comparison websites. I can link some of them down below if you guys wanna compare your options as well to make sure you're getting the best price. But as I mentioned before, and I said you guys should watch out when it comes to finding the cheapest price because there might be some hidden fees in there as well. The one thing that I really, really loved about Ostrom is that I actually asked them straight up. I'm like, do you guys have any discounts or deals? And they like immediately were just like, no. <laughs> like you're literally paying the electricity at cost with them. And that's what I think is really cool. They're super transparent. If you're getting a really good deal and it's cheaper than Ostrom, it's likely because they're going to lock you in for one or two years. Now for internationals, if you join a plan at the beginning and then realize you made a mistake because you didn't do the right research or you don't like that one, any, that electricity provider anymore, or you just realize it's too difficult to do in the German language if anything goes wrong, well then it's not that simple to just make that switch. With something like Ostrom, you can actually cancel monthly, which makes it super Super, super easy and very very transparent and when electricity prices drop then their prices also drop as well and of course this whole referral program that a lot of companies do nowadays I think is really neat because if you like the provider for example I have insurance I have bike insurance I have home contents insurance and I have private liability insurance with get safe and I also have my referral code that I send to all my friends and family because I really love them and why not make a few extra bucks to save some money on all of your insurance bills when you're doing somebody else a favor. So in this regard, I can also do this with Ostrom. I will leave my referral link down below if you guys want the 35 euros, but I'll also give it a few months, try them out, see how it goes, let you guys know, give you an update. I'm actually going to be interviewing one of the gentlemen that works there and asking them even more questions for you guys that maybe you should be aware of before you jump into an electricity contract. And I hope that this video really helps you guys. So just as some really good walkaways, I would say 
Make sure that you sign up for an electricity contract within 14 days of moving to your new residency. Otherwise, you might get stuck on this Grundversorgung tariff, which you really don't because it's likely the most expensive one on the market today. And make sure you know how long you're being locked in. The good thing is you can still do all the paperwork and switch to a new provider so that you don't have to do it in the long run, but they're just gonna have to wait until the day that that old contract ended to actually switch you over. So I'm gonna actually switch we have three different levels now, and the one is on Stadtwerke, the other is on Vattenfall, and now this one is on Ostrom. So I'm actually gonna go and slowly switch them all over to Ostrom. I think one is locked in for two years, the other one is up maybe in half of a year, but I'm gonna go ahead and do those all today so that we don't have to worry, and that eventually they're all on the same contract and in this nice handy English app. This really excites me. I think 2022 is gonna be a big year for digitalizing things here in Germany. I also mentioned the German healthcare system that you might wanna check out too. That is going to be entirely digitalized soon as well. And that is it for me today, guys. If you do have any questions at all about switching your electricity provider, don't be afraid to ask. And again, don't forget if you're new or you're moving to Germany, don't forget to download your free checklist. I will leave the link down below for you guys and that will really help you get started. Wie immer, vielen, vielen lieben Dank und... Bis später.